Introduction. It seems that everywhere we look these days, someone is trying to convince us that their way to get healthy is the best. Between fad diet trends, supplements, and products that claim to work miracles, the world can seem like an amazing place full of wondrous technology that can help us to shed weight fast. And choosing between options is often overwhelming and difficult, especially once you begin to unearth the gritty truth about many of these options. Scams abound. Chemicals and hormones can be altered in the body and cause terrible effects. And products that claim to work miracles can be harmful in the long run. So, who is there to trust when we want to begin a healthy lifestyle? The answer is simple. Nature. In nature, there is a natural balance that can be very delicate. If we veer away from natural practices and substitute things like healthy eating and exercise with pills and starvation, the obvious results will be detrimental to us. We were designed to enjoy a bountiful diet that is rich in specific things, healthy fats, vitamins, and minerals. That is where the paleo diet comes into play. Introduced during the 1970s by a man named Walter Vogtlin, the idea of eating only the foods that were consumed by our ancestors from the Paleolithic era has become immensely popular. When we stop ingesting foods that were introduced during the time hunting and gathering slowed down into farming, the idea is that we limit many starchy products and fatty meats and stick to the foods that are nutrient-rich and ideal to keep the body and gastrointestinal tract as happy as possible. He thought it would be a good way to influence modern people to eat in a healthier fashion. Vogtlin was a pioneer in this field, and his research inspired others to reach conclusions about the diet for themselves. Another doctor believed that our bodies were evolved for this type of diet. That is, to be eating the kinds of foods our hunter-gatherer ancestors were able to gain access to in their travels. We are naturally adept at digesting lean meats, fruits, vegetables, and nuts and seeds. In fact, they are incredibly good for us. The types of foods that become commonly and commercially available to us through farming, foods like grains, corn, which is technically a grain, and dairy products consumed in an abundance can cause the body many issues. Lactose intolerance, gluten intolerance, and other allergies abound from commercialized and common staple foods of this nature. Not to mention several of them are very starchy, which can make it difficult to lose weight. The paleo diet is great for those who are hoping to shed a few pounds, but more than that, it is a major lifestyle choice. It isn't just about losing weight, but about feeling great and making choices that are healthy for you and that make you feel good. It can be very stressful to know that the foods we are eating by choice are doing harm to our bodies. Even if we aren't consciously aware of that specific harm, we innately understand what is good for us and what is bad for us most of the time, and there will always be a weight on our shoulders when we are consuming foods that we know for sure are bad for us. While losing weight isn't the primary goal of the paleo diet, it is an incredible benefit. If you are used to the standard American diet, also known as the SAD diet around the world because of the pitiful lack of nutrients in the typical meals served when consuming processed, prepackaged meals, then chances are high that you are suffering physically from it in some way or will in the future. Processed foods are terribly unhealthy, as will be covered in a later video. So, cutting these bad foods out and making the choice to go paleo is a huge game changer. Your body and your mind will feel better than they have in years. All because of a simple switch. Going paleo isn't a fad diet trend where you're going to have to go out and get a journal to count every calorie you consume so you know whether or not you are doing it right. Although, to be truthful, there is some benefit to journaling if you want to hold yourself accountable to the choices you are making. More on this in a later video. Sure, if you are overeating and not getting enough exercise to burn the calories you consume, then calorie counting can be of great assistance. However, many people can take that practice to extremes and not consider the nutrients they may be missing out on when they are following fad diets. Going paleo is completely different. You don't have to get out a big complicated map to chart the way. You just have to take a step back and look at what our ancestors and think, well, they were able to achieve good physical health in a natural way. So can we. If going paleo sounds like a right choice for you, then look no further. This guide will help you get started on this rewarding journey to eating foods that were meant to be eaten the way they were meant to be eaten. No more of that sad nonsense. So let's get started. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.